Hi, I'm Emma. Welcome to my channel. I am going to be making Florence Pugh's butternut squash soup today because when you have a butternut squash, what do you do with it? You cook a celebrity's recipe that looks really freaking good. So that's what we're doing. Let me go get the butternut squash. Here it is in all its glory. Anyway, we're gonna cook with this today. At the beginning of quarantine, Florence was posting all of these recipes. And originally I wanted to eat like her for a day, but I figure I've got this literally rotting on the counter. Why don't we just try the first recipe that I saw her make on her Instagram stories? It looked really, really good and I'm up for a challenge and something new because again, haven't ever cooked with this before. So let's just get into this recipe, see how it tastes. Is it as good as Florence said? Can I be Florence one day? I don't know, these are the questions that keep me up at night. Let's do it. So this recipe is coming in two parts. One is the actual prep of the butternut squash, and then the other part is making a little topping that's gonna go on top of the soup, which is made from onions, potatoes, and chorizo. So we're gonna start by prepping the butternut squash, and then while that's roasting in the oven, do the chorizo potatoes. Onion, delicious, sizzly, savory thing. You'll see what I mean. Let's go through the ingredients for the butternut squash. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is cut the butternut squash in half. Now you wanna scoop all of these insides out. And if you want, you can roast the seeds. Okay, now that the insides are all taken out, I'm going to cut them into one inch slices. There are our little butternut squash pieces. So now that we've got our cut up butternut squash, we are going to drizzle it, douse it in olive oil, and then you kind of want to like move all of the pieces around in it. Okay, I might have used too much olive oil, but it's fine, it'll cook off. Then we're gonna add some cloves of garlic. We just want to roast these. They're gonna go in the soup like so, and add some pepper and salt. And then this is gonna go into the oven maybe like 20 to 30 minutes. We want it to be golden brown. And in these babies go. Roast for me good, baby. Roast for me good. My bangs are doing something weird right now, but we're going to be making the chorizo onion kind of sizzly dish, as I like to call it. So I'm grabbing the ingredients for that. For this, we're using soy chorizo. She uses normal chorizo. Then I'm gonna chop up a nice big yellow onion and some red potatoes. I'm going to chop up these potatoes. I don't have Florence's gorgeous knife. I don't have her gorgeous culinary skills, but hopefully I can attempt to recreate her gorgeous recipe. She's just like so classy. She makes everything look so effortless. It's fine. Okay, now that you have your potatoes, I'm going to put these into a skillet with olive oil, salt, pepper, Italian seasoning. I'm also gonna put some minced garlic in there. Okay, we've got the potatoes roasting and sizzling in the back. And now it's time to chop the onion. Okay, and now I'm adding this to the potatoes. You can hear everything sizzling in the back. It smells amazing in here. Now we're prepping the soy chorizo. I'm just gonna wait for the onion to cook a little bit more and then add this directly in because it's already ground. Can't promise this is gonna be pretty, but I'm, I'm trying. This looks like the sloppy Joe meat from It Takes Two, that Mary Kate and Ashley movie. And if you understand my reference, I love you. I'm just gonna let that simmer for a bit. And it's time to take these guys out. The trick here is they should be able to slice pretty easily. Yep. And we just let that cool. It's sizzling and like just looks so good right now. I cannot wait. Like it looks crunchy, but soft at the same time, savory. And then we're letting these cool off a little bit because I have to peel off the skin in order to blend it. But they may actually be ready soon. Here's the part that's gonna require a little bit of just like balancing. 
So I've got vegetable stock here. I'm basically gonna put this on a pot on the stove, peel off the skin of the butternut squash, put it in the blender, add some chopped jalapeno in there, extra garlic, salt, pepper to taste, and then add it into the stove. Florence has a pulverizer. I don't have one of those. So that's what I'm gonna blend it first and then add it into the vegetable stock on the stove because my blender isn't very big. So it really can only hold maybe a little bit of butternut squash soup at a time. But to kind of add a little bit of liquid in there to help blend it, I'll add more vegetable stock. So I'm just gonna try to play it by ear and just bring you guys along in the process as much as I can. Okay, I actually think that I could pour the vegetable stock in here because I realized that I only made one squash and Florence made two. We'll just do trial and error again. I want to add some jalapeno, some rosemary, salt, garlic, and then we're gonna blend. Oh my God. I literally made butternut squash soup. Um, that tastes incredible. It looks like baby food. I'm so excited. There it is guys, in all its glory. This tastes like fall in a bowl. This is the best butternut squash soup I've ever had and it is so clean and so healthy and this is all vegan and I cannot wait to have it with the crunchy potatoes and the soy chorizo. Oh my gosh. So this is what mine looks like compared to Florence's. I think it's pretty spot on. I think because she used two butternut squashes and obviously more vegetable stock, mine is thicker than hers. As far as presentation goes, it looks pretty much the same. <laughs> Thanks. Mm. It's literally like butter. Yeah, the butternut puree is very rich and creamy. Like I thought there was butter in it. It was mm. that smooth. Texture-wise, the potatoes do a good job of like giving it some substance. You're on your what, third bowl now? <laughs> You're savage. Now the moment you've all been waiting for, the official taste test. I did try the butternut squash soup on its own. It is phenomenal. Probably the best butternut squash soup I've ever had. And so now I'm gonna have some with potato and chorizo and onion. Oh my God. The rosemary comes through in just layers and levels you wouldn't expect. I think if you want it a little bit spicier, you could add some red hot chili flakes, maybe a little bit more jalapeno than I did, but the sweet and savory is phenomenal. And then the difference in textures between the butternut squash soup and then the potatoes and chorizo and onion, this is, this is flawless. If y'all don't have this at your next Thanksgiving meal, you should because it's also vegan, so anyone can have it. I'm in pure butternut squash bliss. Well guys, thank you so much for joining me on this amazing journey. I do have to clean up the chaos and tornado that happened back here, but let me know if this is a kind of video that you'd like to see more of. If you wanna see me create or recreate more recipes, just let me know and leave it in the comments which recipe you wanna see in particular. I am going to finish this, probably sit in a little food coma, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers, bye.